Hey, what's up, guys? I want to talk about things in our world that we overlook, that we don't really give much thought. We just accept that uh, someone made it, they made it, they can do a lot of things. But I'll, I want to tell you about something I'm thinking about, I've been thinking about lately. Um, at what point did we go from here to here? I just got this drill press uh, the other day. Okay. And um, what I want to put forward, and I like some of you smart guys who like listening to my videos, um, to explain to me how we got from here to here, from here to here. Now, what I'll tell you is I am an artist and a, a craftsman, a painter, sculptor. I didn't do that one out here, but like I did this. It's kind of sideways, like this picture, like these two guys are uh, battling each other. Anyway, I can sculpt too. I paint. And uh, so I know what can be done by hand. Like I could sculpt that thing out there. Um, and there's different levels to how good someone is. I mean, it's not the greatest sculpture, but you get, you get the picture. It can be done by hand. This could never be done by hand. So where the hell did it come from? It might sound stupid at first, but the more you think about it, you see there's some mystery. And if you try to research it, you'll get to a dead end. You don't see what's in the back room behind the curtain. Because if if the story is true that we came from, climbed out of the trees, um, and began to put two and two together within our environment given to us, um, you know, we started in a place like this, like a garden. You know, there's grass, dirt, trees, rocks, wood. You know, if uh, some genius comes along, he might figure out how to dig into the dirt and pull out the metal, iron ore. Then how the hell are you going to melt it? I mean, I'd like you guys to explain some of this to me. But what I really want to know is how do you get from here, which can be done by hand, to here, things that can't be done by hand. Like every part of this drill, a lot of people like to look at the pyramids or the megalithic structures, and those are given to us as you know, mysterious um, examples of architecture. Like, hey, you know, no one knows how they were built. Some people claim that they, they do. Most of us understand it's not possible or there's no just acceptable explanation for how some of the megalith, megalithic structures were built around the earth. But um, it kind of takes our focus off of just the everyday things we see. Um, I'm telling you, no matter how good of a craftsman you are, a sculptor, you can't make something like this with these pieces that fit perfectly into other pieces. And uh, to make a machine, and I'm gonna say I've researched in, into it a little bit. There, you go back to the industrial age. Henry Matslow made the first uh, lathe, which is where the first screw came from. And then you can build other machines from that. But the problem with it, if you look at that machine, the lathe, screw lathe, it has a screw in it already. So where did that screw come from? What did you did you carve it out of a stone you, by hand? All those grooves perfectly measured apart. Um, it's not possible. Um, and then that's a, it's a very simple thing to make a screw. But we're talking about parts that um, can't be carved by hand. And there was no machine uh, existing before the first machine to help you make those parts perfectly. You could carve it out like that. You know, but those, those parts aren't perfect. If they're a little off, it doesn't matter. Here it matters. It won't work if it's off by a little bit. Um, I'll just bring up to, you know, there's YouTube videos where a guy will like carve a beautiful, I saw the other day a guy carves a beautiful butterfly knife out of just a rusty old piece of junk metal. It looked like a gear of some sort. But, the problem is he's using tools, existing tools. They give him um, 
an advantage you know he's got like like a thing that grind the metal down it's a perfect uh i forget what they call it, like a grinding with, with the got it, it's a wheel um with he's plugging it in using electricity i mean not to mention just the lights we have man you know the story that did uh <laughs> the guy go out there was it benjamin franklin with a kite and he brought lightning out of the sky there's a funny story right there but just just i mean that's strange too that we have this electricity we take for granted but um what i want to know from you guys is how is that possible and i I've, i made this video once before a while back and and um people will um think they have an answer but they really don't because if you follow further back whatever it is they're bringing forward to to answer this you always lead it leads back to a machine that made a part that made a part that made this possible you got to tell me so so before you comment think about what you're saying because i'm going to follow back i'm going to trace it back to the source you at some point how do we go from carving things by hand to um producing perfectly um shaped objects that are able to compose these machines where everything has to fit together perfectly how how was that done like i mean just like this part right here i mean any part any of these parts you know I want to hear from you guys.